No. No, I hadn't heard that. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. Well, then you're an idiot. This place is run by cretins. What? Admin have given permission to Plastics to take over the relatives' room. Oh, dear. That's it. Cardiothoracic surgery is being pushed out of Holby in favour of boob jobs, and that's all you can muster. Sorry, it's this disc oxygenator. I've been asked to do a talk at a symposium this afternoon on the history of heart surgery. It's very really quite fascinating, you know. I used to use these a lot. You take the ink here, and you need a... Can you believe this? I told you so, but... Oh, look, you've got a new customer. Now, be cool. Don't scare him away. It's Billy Somerville, 32, been sent up from ED. He's had bloods cross-matching 10 milligrams of morphine. There's no sign of any hemothorax or respiratory complications, but he does have mild concussion and... A, a screwdriver screw sticking out of his chest. chest. X-ray suggests that it may have punctured his heart, but he's stable. And he's orange. All right, do you feel any pain? Not at all. He gave a me downstairs and worked a treat. You are one lucky son of a... Yeah, but, you know, I don't feel nothing. You could just whip this thing out, stick a plaster over the hole, and I'll be out of your hair. Uh, well, it's not that simple. This could be serious. The screwdriver may have damaged your heart. We'd have to see exactly where it went in. And now I'm not in any pain. I could probably just pull it out of myself. Save you the bother. If I can just get enough purchase on it... Don't! <laughs> Try working out how you're still alive. Screwdriver's gone straight through your heart. You could have bled out in less time than it takes to boil a kettle. I could murder a cup of tea. Will you excuse us? Speaking of murder... You consider my offer? Oh, what, your offer to make me Queen of Darwin when eventually one day you become king? You've read the strategic review. CT at Holby is over. They're gonna fold it into St. James's and make all cardio staff redundant. If you want my silence about plastics, dodgy conflict of interest, then I want something in writing. Oh, come on, be serious. I can't do that. It's gotta be a gentleman's agreement. How do I know you won't stab me in the back? My neck is on the line. You can trust me. I'll think about it. You do know I could hear all of that, right? Dodgy conflicts and all. If you ask me. The Yanks sound slippery. If you ask me, you should mind your own business. Can you feel it? What? The change in air pressure. The vacuum created out here with a massive sucking up going on in there. <laughs> very good, gentlemen. Very, very interesting. I knew the rumours true. Well, you'll have to be a little more specific, Miss Naylor. The one about me being undead is fallacious, for example. About proposals to close cardio at Holby. Ah, that old chestnut. Right, so you're saying it's not true? Is that a statement or a question? Does CT in Darwin at Holby have a future? Violation! Oh, sorry. It's been so long since I've used a disc oxygenator, I can't remember how to prime the inlet. Sorry. Does CT on Darwin have a future? On current form, under current leadership, no. Could you be more cryptic? Cardiothoracics is a dying speciality. New techniques have reduced demand. Plastics, on the other hand, has a focused mission and an immaculate financial model which promises to accelerate Holby's Foundation Trust status. Yes, I get that it's changing, but where does it end? Well, you tell me, Miss Naylor. If some bright young CT surgeon delivered some magical notion of how cardio could once again play a key role in this hospital's life, I'm sure we'd fate her as a saviour of CT. I see. Show me some magic, Miss Naylor. Show me the magic. Mr. Selby, this is Mr. Mallet. Do you know how to stream an archive video link? And yet there's kids in the hospital crush that know how to stream video. Oh, well, perhaps you might be able to help me then. I've got this luncheon talk on my contribution to the history of the old forensics. Come, young Jedi. Come over from the dark side into the light. What is that? It's facial nerve monitor. Maps the contours of the nerves and identifies injurious stimuli. So, no more nerve damage in theater, hence, no more lopsided smiles afterwards. 
How can your department afford to upgrade equipment now? CT's being stretched over a barrel. Plastics is the future. Not just in what we do, but the way we're structured financially. Come, sample the succulent fruits of progressive medicine. See what I mean, Jack? Cardio's history. I, I've just got a phone call from Sahira. Sorry, uh, Miss Shah. Oh, don't tell me she's got a sick toddler and a problem with the nanny. She's in an ambulance five minutes away with an emergency patient. Security guard collapsed outside a supermarket, suspected cardiac tamponade. She's doing compressions, but output is critical. He'll need an emergency pericardiotomy on arrival. Whoa. She wants us to meet her with an anaesthetist, portable monitor and lines. And a pump on standby in theatre. She's already kept him alive for 15 minutes. Okay, I'll pay the anesthetics and bring the portable monitor. You book the pump, but get down there now. I'm sorry. I've got a date with history. Wow. I do not miss all that medical drama. Do you? No. Not at all. Patient has acute cardiac tamponade. Became unresponsive en route. Had to perform an emergency pericardiotomy. Right, great. Wound treatment and full diagnostic follow-up. Can I get some help? I'm plugging the hole in his heart with my finger. I've got it. Okay, the two is prepped. Oh, God. That was just amazing. All right. Theatre one, I need you to assist me. Yes, but what about my no. patient? Theatre one, now. I love my job. Outside a supermarket, at that very moment, he would have died. Oh, the God complex. Taylor suffer bad eyesight, cardiac surgeon suffer megalomania. You're not getting it. Me, a cardiac specialist at the scene. You went in for nappies and you came out with a scalp to go under your belt. Look, we need to focus. We need to get the screwdriver out of the man's chest without killing him. How come he's not dead already? Beats me. Didn't kill him going in. Yeah, but once we pull it out... Right. Okay, great. Let's go. And actually, it was homeless, not lapis. You do get it. You understand what I'm saying, right, Jack? Out there, we could be saving lives. What, in the supermarket? What do you suggest we do? Erect a kiosk next to the photo booth? Yeah, why not? It'd be like a, a mobile cardiac trauma unit. Now, I'm no bone expert, but if you okay, were to be my eyes. There's such a low survival rate for cardiac trauma. Every moment, every second counts. How are we doing? Keep it going. Gentle. 14 centimetres. 12. Going past the aorta. See, the problem with cardiacs today is it's in the wrong place. In a hospital. Aorta's good. Slow down. Can't go any slower. Dish. What can you see? Nothing. Not even a graze. It's missed everything. See, what I'm saying is if we had ambulances specially equipped to deal with cardiac trauma, mm. we could use the crucial time on the way to the hospital to make a real difference. Show me the magic. Well, perhaps we should suggest it to Hanson. It might be the leg up that cardiac needs. He might jump at it. Or you might think it's a dumb idea. Money, manpower. You think? You're along with history. Why don't you suggest it? With the history, he brought me here. He wants me to work for Holby to take initiative to suggest new dynamics for cardiothoracics. And that's a good thing, right? Only one way to find out. Yeah. What's little Miss Sunshine selling? How do you mean? She's selling him something. You can tell by the body language. Oh, and you're an expert. On human manipulation? He wants something from her, that's for sure. Hanson, no way. All his blood's used up in his brain. Something's going on. He's made up. Right, at seven. Who's that? Security guard. He nearly died too, so you'd be good company for each other. the idea just like you said thought the men in suits would see it as an ingenious usage of fixed assets ingenious yeah I told him that we'd need to have a fixed number of beds in Darwin ring fenced for cardiac trauma work that'd stop plastics taking over our beds beautiful exactly 
Sorry to interrupt, but Billy Orange keeps asking for you. He says he wants his own room now. Well, I want my own swimming pool, but that's not going to happen. That's what I told him. But he keeps saying that I'm just to ask you. Why would I care? Right, so uh, where did you leave it with Hanson? He said I need a consultant to back me up. A consultant? Hmm, which is why I wanted Elliot to hear the details. Where is he? So you need a cardiac consultant? Yes. Where are we going? To look at your future. Cardiothoracic surgical consultant, Elliot Hope. Hanson hates him. He's the most famous heart man in Holby. So? Hanson hates him. Ever since he stuck his size 11 calfskin leather brogue through that door, Hanson has wanted rid of Hope. Look at him. You think that's who he wants as the chief consultant on the cardiac trauma unit? Well, who else is there? You're messing with me, right? <laughs> you need me. You mean you need me? You've only just been made consultant. And what's the alternative? Great Uncle Bulgaria. How do I know I can trust you? It's still your project. I'm the rubber stamp that gets you past the bureaucracy. Right, so when Holby's groundbreaking cardio trauma unit becomes the model for a rollout of similar units through the NHS and you're the credited consultant, where does that leave me? Second in command. As long as you're number one. As long as I'm number one, I don't care what you call yourself. At least we both know where we stand. Of label routine um, gloves. Billy Orange says people keep pointing and laughing because he's still covered in orange paint. And whose fault is that? Honestly, we can't shift it. I've tried everything. Why are you bothering me with this? Because he keeps saying that I'm to tell you personally that you and him have got some kind of understanding. Well, I'm bright orange, Anna. People look at me. Who? I'm uncomfortable about me colour. So you think I should move you to a single room? There's got to be some tiny sidewall thing tucked away. What are you afraid of? Nothing. I'd be daft. So when's he going to wake up? Any time, hopefully. Nah. I want out here. What's not happening? Look, Doctor. I'm not this sort of guy, right? I'm really not. But if I was... I might be saying that what I heard in the scanner room, between you and the slippery yank, you know, dodgy contracts and all that, was something you probably don't want your boss to know about. Am I right? I don't know what you're talking about. But I see it. I'm not talking, am I? If I was that kind of guy, I might be talking to the lanky geezer with the glasses. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nurse. HDU is empty, isn't it? Yes. What do you care? Every cardiac dork in Darwin is talking about CTU, CTU, like it's the best thing since Velcro. Something Sahara's cooked up. Ah, who the cardiac Muppets are also talking about as though she were the next messiah. They get easily excited. What is it? Bid to launch mobile cardiac ambulances and in-house specialist trauma facilities, blah, blah, blah. That's it? She doesn't exactly confide. We're not Facebook friends. You being straight? Are you worried I'm going to get into bed with the princess and then freeze you out? We have a deal. No, we don't. I asked for something in writing and you said no. How many times do I have to say this? When Plastics takes over Darwin and Cardio is pushed out the door, you will be the only CT consultant left in the building. You can't guarantee that. I can guarantee that Plastics is going to need a CT surgeon and the hospital is only going to pay for one, ergo. Ergo nothing. If CT shuts down... When? CT is shut down. You could just shrug your Armani-suited shoulders and say, I'm sorry, Jack, I tried, but no can do. You will be the only CT physician on Darwin. You will get all private chest work. You get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a contract. Guaranteeing all crossover procedures, ring fence theatre time, and pick of private referrals. Oh, and uh, the word consultant in big, bold letters at the top of it. All right, I can maybe stretch... And I want it. something in writing today. That's not going to happen. Or else I might start listening to the dorks. Word is they need a consultant to head up the new CT unit. So what I intend to do, Mr. Selby, once we Let's get you into the theatre... Mr. Hurry. Strike while the iron's hot. A hungry fish is the easiest fish to catch. Have you started making bumper stickers? Look, I know Henrik, and sometimes it's better not to let him dwell. 
Right, we have to show a united front. My idea, my passion, you as the steady, talented consultant hand on the tiller, right? Aye, aye, Captain. Simple pitch, we list the top three salients and assure him that we are a mutually uh, supportive team. So you're wheeling and dealing with this doctor now, too? Certainly a lot better looking than the Yank. X-ray, please. Why don't you just write me a script? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be efficient. I think this could be amazing. I think it could really work. Oh, and another thought. If the cardiac trauma unit had a mobile theatre and diagnostics, well then, patients wouldn't even have to be admitted to ED or AAU. It would save those departments a fortune. More bed space, less cost. But I won't mention those savings just yet. It'll save massive expenditure on ED and AAU as they won't require cardiac diagnostics. More bed space, less cost. And um, uh, CTU will be able to handle penetrating thoracic injuries, blunt trauma, pleural effusion, hemoneumothorax. It'll, It'll save hundreds, if not thousands, of lives every year. And bridge the gap between the emergency itself and um, the intervention. Holby will be a pioneering flag bearer of future CT surgery. Well, the idea suggests much potential. I'd like to read a feasibility study first, please. Of course. <laughs> Sorry, sis, I didn't really see you two as quite such a creative team. I've been watching Michelle closely since she arrived at Holby. And what do you see? A very bright future. Right. The orange agent only wants me to send out for a Chinese now. Won't eat hospital slop. Why is it he thinks he's so special? Oh, and the police are here, you know. They want to talk to the security guard. Oh. Hmm. What exactly do we know about Billy Somerville? Well, I tried to pull up his notes on the computer and there's nothing. Never been ill. Nothing in his file. As far as the database is concerned, he doesn't exist. GP? Can't remember their name. And the paint? Tried everything, honestly. Acetate, white spirit, paint remover. It's not normal paint. How do you get it all over his face? <sighs> Who knows? To interview the security yeah. guard. You know, when he's fully conscious, obviously. So there was a robbery? More of a grab, really. When the security guard collapsed outside the superstore. Armed robbery? No, just an opportunist. When the guard was having his heart attack thing, some chance had grabbed a cash box and legged it. Any idea who did the grabbing? There's some CCTV footage we're looking at. He jumped into his mate's car, so uh, he'll turn up. How do you know? Uh, all the transit cash boxes are armed with explosive security die bags. Die bags? Mm. If they try and leave it open while the car's moving, boom. Die everywhere? Yeah, looks like paint, only it doesn't come off. That way, even we can spot the bad guys. Yeah. What colour? You bitch. Oh, come on. What did you think I was going to help smuggle you to Panama? Yeah, it's Billy Bugler, Sarge. Gave the name Billy Somerville? Looks like he's done ten rounds with the tango, man. Car really suits you. Yeah, but I know all about you and the Yank. Trying to deal with the NHS. You know nothing. Bang to rights, no question. If we do the rounds on his known acquaintances, we're bound to turn up a smash motor and probably another orange perp. You really plan this one well, eh? Yeah, I'll read him his rights. I'll tell the old Bill. What? Pratt went and skewered himself like a kebab. That you and, and the Yank doxy, you're... You don't know anything. And who do you think they're really going to believe, anyway? An eminent cardiac consultant or a man who looks like a walking kumquat. I hope the Yank screws you up good and proper. Oh, you did. With Polly. <laughs> There's me thinking. Orthopedics were just power tools and wham bam. Thank you, man. I'm trying to be funny. No. I mean it. You handled that very sensitive. Are we going to be stood here like spare parts for another hour? So you know, if you'd gone in posteriorly, gnawed his bleed, you'd have been repairing the spine of a dead man. You're calling my judgment? I'm just trying to point out that your stuff, letting personal get in the way of professional, you could have killed this patient, Dan. You're going to repair that bleed and get out of my way. Well, to sort out this bleed, I need to remove the kidney. There isn't time. I need to expose the lumbar vertebrae, so we have to share the space, which means you keep out of my way. Give me a retractor. Excuse me.
Nailer. Just gonna say right from the top, this goes against my better judgment. Oh, a contract. A letter of intent. Sign it. What's the rush all of a sudden? I don't like the rumors. Word is that Hansen is actually supporting Zahira's cardiac trauma thingy. Well, you said yourself maybe we shouldn't have anything in writing. Sign it. Or with plastics being a bit. Sign. Well, it says here you'll give me a limited CT unit and negotiated theatre slots. You will be the only CT physician. Make that a proper CT setup with protected slots and I might just consider it. Fine. And I want four dedicated beds, a registrar, two house officers, a ward sister, six nurses, complete autonomy, and I might just accept it. I am this far from telling you to get lost. Now, I know you're trying to play hardball and you think that you've got something really bad on me. But what you really got, Jack, is Jack all. I've been looking for you everywhere. Um, I've done some preliminary research on the feasibility study and I wanted to run some figures past you. Can we talk about this in my office later, please? Uh, Mr. Spence just needs me to sign some paperwork. Sure. Feasibility study. For her CTU pitch. You are helping her bid against plastics for funding. Actually, I'm her nominated consultant. You're playing me. If the CTU pitch is a threat to plastics, then it makes it a lot easier for us to know exactly what CTU you're up to. You're a mole. That way I know exactly how and when to sabotage it. So, your plan is to make her think that you are part of her bid? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I actually do sue you. <laughs> Two presents. Wow, I'm very generous. Well, I can decide which two and... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you shouldn't have. Not me. Miss Naylor sent it down. Jack. Jack sent me a present. That's it. In we go. Ah, no, it won't take a minute. Thank you. Thank you. Elliot, what is this? Well, it's a sort of celebration. Ah, so you found your grommet thing then? Yes, the uh, O-ring diaphragm. It's fully functional. Mr. Spence is a bit threatened by our CT pitch. Good work. You know, I really don't have time for this. Michael, uh, don't worry, everyone. I'm uh, not about to bore you with my uh, history of cardiology lecture. Although, if I do say so myself, it was very well received. These were given to me by way of a small thank you by the Wellcome Foundation. And I thought I'd like to share them with my fellow Darwinians. Okay, well, we do have to be somewhere else. Vintage 1999, class. Oh, yeah. It's good. Someone, Ooh. somewhere. Really likes this sort of stuff. Oh, this oh, is I never underestimate Elliot. In the cardio world, is a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention. Thank you. I know that uh, there has been a sort of divide on Darwin of late. Cardiacs versus plastics. You know, sort of uh, pumps versus bumps. But this is not a turf war. This is our ward. Darwin is big enough for both of us. We can coexist. So I would like to propose a toast to Darwin. To Darwin. To Darwin. Darwin. It's a screwdriver. Oh, and there's a man. Sorry I screwed you over. Thanks, Jack. Very useful. Happy birthday, Sasha. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Happy you. birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Sahira told me earlier about your CTU project pitch. Ah. Sounds fantastic. Specialist diagnostic ambulances, mobile CT theatres. Well done. Thanks. Really. And I'm glad she chose you to partner her. Are you? I know my strengths, Jack. Thrusting ain't one of them. <laughs> Sasha phoned. Um, cake and candles in the bar in ten minutes. Ah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we all rush to the bar to give Mr. Levy the bumps, I'd like us to raise a glass to a new project.
which I hope has a bright and bountiful future. To Shah and Naylor and the cardiac trauma unit. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. And can I make a quick toast, please, to um, my new ally, to Jack, without whose support and encouragement none of this would be happening. To Jack. To Jack. To Jack. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we